Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Driving My Truck. So we have Wolfgang that we will be following still today. So I did do a little decision today and I decided that we were only going to do one drive per episode now. So I'm going to try to make the videos a little bit shorter. Hopefully not have to have as many of the time lapses as I did in the last one. So for this trip, we are going to take up to Coon Bay, Oregon, and we are going, because it's the best price that we have, but we are going to be taking a scraper. So let's go ahead and we will accept that job and we will get going. Okay, so we got all in here. I got the lights on already. So let's go ahead and we will start our drive here. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and we will take a look at this first. See what we got. We got the triple trailer. Uh, looks like a little earth mover. They're calling it a scraper. Up in the Midwest, we call that an earth mover. Okay, so let's go ahead and we'll get back into the cab and we will get this drive going. So, looks like we're going to be going all the way around this building here. So, we're going to need to go wide again because of this long trailer that we have. So, let's go ahead and we will get that going. Got a nice little Peterbilt that they got us in this time. We're going to be taking a right, so we will go far left on here. And then, it looks like I got a car coming. Those lights are nice to make it so you can see what you got there. Okay. So let's go ahead and exit on out here. We will get this drive underway. We got 321 miles to go. So it'll be a nice little drive for us, coming out of Redding and going all the way up to Oregon, Coon Bay. Okay, let's see. And there we go. Oh, that car is getting. Thank you, car that decided wanted to be. Okay, you guys need to move because with where both of you are. I can't make this corner. There we go. And that car held back, thank God. Otherwise, I don't think we would have made it around that corner there. Looks like we're going on some small roads for a little while. Totally okay. Got enough fuel, got our rusting taken care of. I know we were yawning on the last episode. So happy that we got to get a little rest in there. Okay. Got a little speed going on. Not that fast, only two miles over. That's okay. Normally drive a little bit faster than the speed limit of my car too, so I'm okay with that. Hopefully you guys are okay with that too. Mm, looks like we're taking a left here. green light for us. Let's go ahead and go. I was looking at my instruments there, trying to get everything set up the way I like it. Probably should do that while you're still sitting in the yard picking up your load, but hey, sometimes we don't. Sometimes you just got to do it while you're on the road. And I did try to remember which buttons I have selected for which thing make it a little bit easier on me when I'm driving down the road here. Oh, and we're finally reaching that 55 mile an hour zone. However, we got a really heavy load here. So it'll take us a little while to get up that speed. Oh, looks like we're going to be going downhill here in just a minute. Maybe. Normally what that sign means, not going uphill. 
this. The developers meant to put that going the opposite way. Okay, so we got that 55 mile an hour. Okay, got the cruise control set now. However, uh, we might have to slow that down due to the fact of this corner. Little sharp one there. Isn't that how it always is? You get up to the speed limit and that's when you gotta slow down. So you slow down a little bit more. We do got a lot of sharp corners coming up here. So we will not go right into a time lapse due to the fact of those corners. We wanna make sure that we can show going around those corners. Have a little bit more fun than just those freeways that we've been on recently. Sharp right, follow by a left right away. And, whoa, now this would be a fun one to go on in a motorcycle. I don't know how many of you ride motorcycles. I do, and I enjoy those nice little curves that they give you. So it looks like a few more curves coming up here. Not as sharp as the last ones that we went through, but still got a few of them to, coming up. Let's see if we can get that speed up. Sorry about that one. I uh, ran into a little difficulty. It kicked me out of the game for some reason. Came back in and I was running into a bunch of signs. Okay. Okay, well let's just go ahead and we'll just continue on with this one. We'll just imagine that that did not happen. Okay. Got my brights still on. Got a little flash from the car you couldn't see. We've all done it before. We all know we have. Okay, looks like I'm coming up behind somebody because I'm speeding. You would think that this road would be speeding up now seeing as how we're out of those hair per hairpins. Go ahead and slow up for this car. Another one up ahead of them. Okay. They must be going pretty slow there. We will just set the cruise control now. Okay. Got some more sharp corners coming up here. I was going to try to do a time lapse, but I guess we're not going to be doing that one, seeing as how we got these nice corners coming up. Maybe that's the reason why they didn't change that speed limit on us. A little bit easier than the other ones we were on, though. Ooh, those ones are nice and sharp. Okay. Looks like we got a few more sharp corners coming up here in just a little bit. If you look on the uh, map that's sitting down over in the dash, you can see we got that one set to go a little bit farther of a distance on there. So we can see a little bit more of where we're going to. Instead of having to cycle through the regular one and sits on the right side of the screen. Looks like we're catching up to this car because yeah going downhill. Okay. Turn off the cruise control because we just went came up to a 55 now. Let's try to get around these corners. Looks like we got some sharp ones coming up here. So we will slow up for those ones. Ooh, this one looks like a fun one. I got another 18 wheeler up there. And now we're back down to a 35. Maybe. Yep, 35. We're only going 
131. It looks like we're catching up to them still. Hard to believe that that cargo would be as heavy as we are. I don't know. Looks like a tanker. Add a tanker up there. Okay, so it looks like we're coming up towards a nice little straightaway. So once we get onto this freeway, that will be the start of our very first time lapse. And we will get you towards that destination. Now, if you guys don't want to have these time lapse and these shorter videos, go ahead and let me know. Drop a comment. Hit a like if you do like having it with the shorter videos and having still those time lapses in there. So go ahead and let me know. And we will start doing what you want to see. Because that's the whole point of this. It's not me doing what I want. It's what you want. Looks like we're getting onto that freeway now. Oh, trucks just stopped right on the road. Well, it looks like they got in an accident, so we'll just bypass them. Okay. So as I said, we were on that freeway. We will go ahead and we will start that very first time lapse now. So I will see you when we get close to that destination. Welcome back. So we are coming into a few windies. We do have this slower truck in front of us that has been going fast when it's two lanes and then as soon as it goes down to one lane he decides to slow down just a little bit more. However right now we are in a lot of twists so 
we are going slow ourselves. Do you have another rig behind us? So it looks like we got a little convoy going on here. Yes, I had to make that reference. If you don't know what it is, look up. Looks like we got a convoy here. Okay. And this view is just, I cannot get over the nice view that they have here. So again, we're right next to the water again. Being able to see that, got the boulders, everything. Such a nice view. Looks like you got a little mobile home park right across from the water. That would be a nice place to stay in. Too bad there's not a rest area right there. Okay. So it looks like we're out of those twisty parts. So we will go ahead and go back into that time lapse. We got 74 miles till we hit our destination. And then we will be there and we will get this thing parked. But until then, we'll see you on the end of the laps. Okay, everybody, so I ran into a little crash while I was recording this last episode, and I ended up having to actually send a crash report over to SCS. Uh, they are working on the problem, however, they gave me a workaround for trying to continue on with my drive. They told me to turn the vegetation all the way down to low. It was on high. They told me to turn that all the way to low, and that should make it so I can finish this drive. So let's see. We're coming up to the location that it kept on crashing on me before. So we will see if we get to our destination off of this one. It's going to be one of those fun ones where we just have to find out if we can get there or not. Okay. Speeding a little bit here. Maybe I should slow down just a little bit. And here's where it was crashing all the time. Hey, we finally made it through. It didn't crash on us this time. Okay, slow down a little bit here. And then the last update took away all of my buttons, so don't have any of them mapped right now on my wheel. So, yeah, I'm going to have to try to figure out how to do those with the keyboard. I have not had to use the keyboard for a long time for having to use the engine brake or blinkers. I think I remember the blinkers. I think. But yeah, my buttons are not working that I have mapped on the wheel from before. So yeah. And this is one of those nice areas that you can't see out of the front. I have the track IR set up, so I should be able to go forward some, but I think I got the mic in the way for it to be able to do that. So, we are almost at our destination, and then we will be able to finish up this drive, and then I can get all of my buttons remapped to where they're supposed to be for our next episode. So, we only got a little bit left here. Oh, and here's our turn. 
thought it was at that stoplight. So we are almost there. And again, you hear me hitting those buttons on the <laughs> on the steering wheel, but they're not doing anything. So I got to remember that I can't use those ones. I have to continuously try to remember what is on the keypad. Well, not keypad, the uh, keyboard. There we go. Nope, went a little too far on that one. That one was one that I did manage to get mapped again real fast. Go just a little bit farther forward, then we're going to turn. Because this is one of those nice sharp corners. And we're not even going to make that one. So we'll have to make this a multi-point turn. Okay. If you're not rubbing, you're not racing. As from a movie, yeah. Almost there. Let's see if we can get this in there perfectly on the first try. Because it's not going to be easy if we have to try to back this up. There we go. And it is nice that it tells you what button for us to do this. Okay, so we got our delivery taken care of. That was another excellent that we got. We have made 12,000 off of that one, got 868 experience. So that finishes off this drive. And I will end this one here, get everything remapped. We have another 18,000 before we get to buy our own truck. So until the next time, you guys have a good one and drive safe out there.